Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Laguna Seca, Monterey, California for the Sea Otter Classic. This is probably my 10th year coming to do this event. Um, and while it's about the racing, it's more about the expedition. This bike venue becomes like, I think the largest expedition cycling related in the world. It's super crazy all week. Usually there's like, there's just so much going on. And as an athlete, you know, you want to focus on the race and the points and the HC and, um, but it's more about the sponsors and it's more about, um, you know, just engaging with the sponsors and the people that we don't get to see. But for the people, it's so exciting because you get to see product and stuff that's coming into market um, kind of like weeks and months long in advance. So lots of good things coming down the pipes. Um, I will kind of make it a jump quick. It's only going to be two days for me. Um, but yeah, it's going to be exciting and lots to come. So I got to the venue thinking I was probably going to be riding around 10, 1030 at the latest, but I just, um, when I did get to the venue, uh, they said that my bike is still in pieces and we're waiting on a few things before I can ride. It's been about an hour. I think we're going to look at probably another hour. So this is kind of the events that happen um, when we're at the expo. It's just kind of predictably unpredictable, but that's kind of what Seattle is about and just being at the expo for long days um, and trying not to do too much damage um, on the athletes. <laughs> Love hate one for me. There's, you know, on, in all fairness, there's some races that you don't have the choice. You have to be stoked for, and then there's some that, like this particular one. I like it, but like I don't get to tour around like people. Like we come here to race, which is actually tomorrow. It's it's um, a Thursday race, the cross country, and then it's pretty much like uh, like autograph sessions and then recovery and travel. So we don't really get to tour around a lot. So I've been doing a sea otter now for 10 years, but um, it's kind of a bigger, bittersweet. Some of them I've, you know, result wise, I've placed really well. And, you know, going way back, I've actually even won a one before. So I am very much sick now and I shouldn't be racing, but there are UCI points up and we're all trying to grab those while we can because the Olympic uh, point system is in play. So sometimes we gotta race when we don't want to and yeah, we'll just, Try to make it make the best out of it. All right, guys. I will check in with you soon. Ciao. So I just did two laps on the course here, and I'm just gonna test out the 36 chain ring because we do have a tailwind for the start finish area, as well as the pavement back climb. It's it's a, it's a strong tailwind right now. So I want to make sure I'm not undergeared um, coming into the start finish area because it's quite a bit of pavement. So we got that 36 on there. It happens fast. These guys can. So I wanted the shifter more inboard. I like that word. Because I found when it was out, it was getting in the way of my thumb kind of rotating around it. So we can customize it by using this little adapter that reverses it and it sends okay, okay. the shifter inward more. So I was just having a debrief with the mechanics. It's always good after uh, training on track to have a conversation with your mechanic right away while you still have everything fresh in your mind with adjustments or things you want to change. Um, so I'm going to run the XR1 in the 2.2 volume tire in the front, which is Bontrager of course, and then the 2.0 in the rear. I'm also going to take my dropper off. I love it. It's or it's uh, not mechanical, it's electronic, um, but it's not needed here in, in Sea Otter. There's, there's nothing to need to use it, so it's coming off. We made some adjustments to the levers, the shifters, um, which are electronic, but just making final adjustments to high. Uh, what kind of fits my hand and reach and my thumb length and everything so we kind of got that dialed which is great yeah I think that's it for now I'm gonna just uh, catch up to the guys ahead and jump in the car and get home it's already three after three o'clock so tomorrow comes quick we race at I think 9 a.m. Um, which is <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've raced at 9 a.m. I was probably 14 years old so Whew, now my shoulders tired so I will uh, I will see you guys in a bit ciao Okay, Sea Otter day one. How was it, Ellen? Good. Yeah, it was pretty uneventful. I was shooting something with Boa, so I got to wear a chest cam pre-riding the course, which looks so nerdy because 
obviously like there's nothing on the sea otter course that <laughs> anyone like needs to see really they um, but had it was me wear it and then me film you oh i don't think it's not really like anything too involved but it was quite fun because i kind of narrated it for them a little bit oh fun. Uh, but i made them a song as well oh you made it like a jingle yeah you know the song all i do is win yeah so i did all it do is wind, 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 no matter what. Because it was so, it was windy. so windy. You are clever. Yeah. Paint House Customs. Thank you for shipping this custom Red Bull paint helmet overnight from Canada. I can't believe it cleared customs that quick. Anyways, it's the new Bond Trigger Wave Cell helmet that I've been waiting for, and it got here in time so I can race it tomorrow. So I'm going to unbox it with you guys and we can check it out together. Oh, it's in the bag. It's like a tease. You think you're there and then... Oh! Oh my god! That is sick. Sweet! Thank you! I bet that took so long. Look at the I detail. Can't imagine having how long it was. Can you guys see the detail? It's like, it's like 3D. Wow. Oh. And then the helmet, like this wave cell technology. So cool. This looks so good! Sweet! Thank you, Stacy! Woo! We are going for tacos! <laughs> tacos are the world's most perfect food. You don't need a plate because it comes in its own little wrapper. Yep. And it's a couple bites, super simple. <laughs> and it's just utterly delicious. Why That's would well. you want anything else in life mm -hmm. except for to eat piles of tacos? My luck, I'll be the one that gets like food poisoning or something. Let's not say that one. I've never gone out for dinner before a race. I just never really think, I'm like, preserving my energy, I just never do. That's why I like it, because I don't have to cook. Yeah. Okay, I'll probably just do what Ella does. Ooh, no, don't, that makes me nervous. I oh. I get what I get. Oh, that makes sick, you nervous. It's my fault. <laughs> yeah, it is. <clears throat> Good morning, guys. It's just before 6 a.m. And um, we're racing at 9 a.m but my cold is officially in my chest, like deep in my chest and I'm coughing up stuff that I should not be coughing up. I've had bronchitis three times actually in a very short period of my 2013 year and um, it started like this so I'm just wondering like how do you know when to call it and not race and and try to think long term it's so difficult as an athlete you just assume you know you just follow the protocol of preparing for a race and racing and <coughs> anyways we'll eat breakfast and carry on <laughs> good morning <laughs> you know when you can taste like taste infection <laughs> Good news is I did race and <laughs> I don't know what I got for UCI points, but that was kind of the goal. <laughs> so the damage was done and now we're done racing. So Mato's gonna make some hot water <clears throat> and then we'll call it a day. It's not very often we get to come into the um, into the trailer anymore because we don't really race in North America a whole lot. So <laughs> um, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of what it looks like in the rider room. In here we use, well, Felice usually writes a really nice detailed list of what's where. So we have a coffee maker down here. And it's on, I can smell the coffee. Snacks, basket, and spare stuff. Goo products. This is the side that I thought would be worth sharing. So lots of goo products. This is usually full, but like I said, we're not really here in North America racing a whole lot, so I'm actually shocked there's anything in there. And then we all have our lockers. So believe it or not, this was an old um, horse trailer. Um, and they've converted it like way, way back. We should actually ask Matt the details, but it is an old horse trailer. And I don't know, they converted it like 15 years ago. And it's been the team trailer for I think about that time. So 
Maybe I'll show you guys in the mechanic room in the back. What do you guys think of the rainbow versus the gold cassette and chain? Do you guys like it? It's different and it's so pretty in person. I don't know if it shows up in camera quite as pretty, but it's gorgeous. I love the gold, of course, but the pretty colors of the rainbow, purple and blues, matches the bike nicely. That's it's a weird. picture of you! Sea otter baby, woo! Are you having a good time? I am. Yeah. Now, a better time now that I met you. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out at the entrance all day. <laughs> Never mind going to the pit. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, this is when they did like a yes, superhero yes, comic yeah. poster, it was so funny. So let's see your teeth. Mm. <laughs> I'm back now from the venue. It was a pretty pretty busy morning. It was really hot at the venue and it is Friday so it's in full force. So everybody is here. It's a massive crowd. Um, it went pretty well though but it was uh, yeah it was it was like a good a good session. We did like autographs and met lots of people and it was great so thank you to everyone that came out. Um, I just got a ride back here to the accommodation and now I'm like literally packing my life up in a matter of 25 minutes because the shuttle to take me to San Francisco airport is going to be here and I'm not packed. So I'm like frantically trying to get everything in my bags. Normally I like to be really organized, but right now I'm just like, oh, I don't care. I just want to get everything in, get it zipped up and get home because I'm going home for the first time in a very, very long time. So got Sea Otter done and it's dusted, which is good, another year. I mean, it's a great event, but it's always one that it's, from a rider's perspective, from my perspective, is like how much, how little damage can we do this year? So it wasn't too bad, but I'm not looking forward to seeing how long this cold is gonna take to clear out. I've talked to a lot of people and they've said that they've had this just recently and it took like weeks to get rid of. So I'm hoping that it's, um, it's not that long, but um, I'm like pounding the ginger shots and immunity wellness boosters and everything, like everything that I normally do, but upping it double. I started this way kind of last year. Like I didn't start really fast, um, but come the World Cups, I was like full on. So we have five weeks before the first World Cup and it's enough time that it's close enough to have like really tangible goals and really like near future goals, but not so far away that it feels like oh, I'll get to that tomorrow. Like it's right around the corner, literally. And I know I'm fit and I'm I'm kind of ready to go there, but there's like a few other things I want to work on with just like, you know, getting body composition, like lean and like getting kind of fine tuning last details. So lots of work to be done. Thanks to everyone that came over to the truck tent and said hello. I love getting to see you guys, even if it is just once a year and it's a few minutes. I really do, I really do value that time. So when you shoot me messages, I love putting like, um, yeah, just like catching up experiences to a face to a name, so to speak. And um, yeah, so thanks guys for coming over. So yeah, that's another sea otter come and gone. Until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in and watching my channel. If you enjoyed this, uh, my perspective, um, then give it a thumbs up or subscribe or do both, but it really helps my channel. So in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Hopefully not sick though. Ciao.